Hello YouTube friends, um, I am here to try to show you how to build a wedge for your telescope. As you know, um, especially for this telescope here, the Celestron 6SE or 8SE, whichever one. Uh, if you try to buy one of those uh, wedges for these telescopes, uh, you're looking at something around $350 and $400. So it's a little bit expensive. So instead, why not try to make one ourselves? Of course, got to be something uh, really strong, really sturdy, so that they can hold your telescope at that uh, yet at the same time, it's got to be very accurate, okay? So what are we going to need? What we're going to need right now is we're going to need some boards, okay? Um, they have to be solid wood boards. Uh, the dimensions it will depend on what kind of telescope you have and what kind of a base you want to do. This is our baseboard. Uh, this one here is going to be the board that's going uh, up onto the mount and uh, some other ones that I will show you um, um, as we go along. Uh, we're also going to need uh, certain uh, tools uh, and utensils. Uh, one of them is this, uh, what it's called a protractor. Uh, so you can uh, manage your uh, latitude and degrees over there. Uh, you're also going to be needing uh, some hinges. You're going to be needing hinges, uh, not too big ones, just small ones. You are going to be needing uh, some bolts, uh, different sizes. This one here, for this one here, you're going to be needing uh, something like um, uh, 3 8 The 3 8 bolt, it's actually the one that goes up on your mount, okay? Now your tripod, the tripod itself, has three holes besides the bolts, sorry, uh, three holes besides the bolts that are inside of them, okay? And those are 5 sixteenths. Of course, for each telescope, uh, you may have a different brand, different model, etc., etc. Uh, you might need something different. Some, some kind of a different uh, dimension or something like that. The easiest way to find out is to uh, refer to your manual and it probably will tell you what sizes of bolts and different things and gadgets are all included on your telescope. So uh, we're also going to be needing some uh, cutting tools. This is going to be used to cut the boards at certain points. We are going to be uh, needing a, a drill as well as uh, drill bits of course and we're going to need a compass. Not a compass that points to the north, but a compass like this. A compass that will help you draw circles because you're going to need that to make holes at the right distances and dimensions. Okay? So, the first thing you want to find out is where is the center of this board? This board happens to be a nine and a quarter inch wide. Okay, so the very center is going to be four and five eighths, something like that. Okay, so make sure you put a little point right at four and five eighths in the middle of it, and then also try to do the same thing from top to bottom, four and five eighths. There's a little dot here um, that I just marked already, um, so that it shows what the very center of your uh, board will be. That means uh, mounted on your tripod. Okay, the next step you want to do here is let's go ahead and take this telescope out and the same way you get dimensions on your board you want to make the same thing or do the same thing for your tripod. I'm going to show you the holes or the threaded holes I was talking to you about. Okay, this is the bolt that goes straight onto your mount to your telescope. Um, this here is one of those holes I was talking to you about. Okay, they're threaded holes and these are 5 16 So just go to Walmart, go to uh, Lowe's or whatever and get, get you some 5 16 bolts and make sure you have them as long as possible so that you can put them through your board and they can be attached to your tripod here itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure what is 
the distance between that. Okay, there's three of them, but they are equally separated. Okay, uh, that means that if you draw a circle around them, you will find all of those three holes in within that circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the center onto one of those holes right in the middle of it. Okay, so this is two inches and five eighths. That is your radius of your circle. You multiply that times two and then that's the size of the circle that you want to draw onto your board. Okay. Okay, I have already measured the distance on the compass, compass, or whatever you pronounce it, um, which is two and five eighths. That's half of our circle. Okay, so what you're going to do is put it right here in the middle and draw a circle. Okay, I'm going to show you how it looks like. It should look something like this. You might be able to see it. There's a circle, there's a point right on the middle. Your bolts or your holes on the board are going to be within this circle. And you have to divide that uh, uh, the three holes into the same distances because that's the way they are on your tripod. To do that, well every circle has 360 degrees. You have to divide that into three and then whatever amount you come up with that's what you're going to uh, use to distance your holes on your board. In order to divide your circle, your 360 degrees circle that you draw on the board into three different parts, you will need one of this. Okay, 360 divided into 3 equals 120. So what you're going to do is you're going to mark on your board, you're going to mark your first point, your first dot, where your first bolt is going to be. And then from there, you place your protractor onto it and you measure 120 degrees. That's where you're going to mark the second dot. And you do the same for the third one. And then, um, of course, you always want to make sure you get the right dimension. So you just, just keep on going in circles until you have the equal amount on all three of them. And uh, once you get done, then you can go ahead and start drilling the holes. Um, because of the holes of this are 5 sixteenths, you want to do these holes here at the same width. Okay, so if you have a 5 16 uh, drill bit here somewhere, make sure you use that one. Okay, uh, and not only that, but once once you drill your holes, which is basically going to be one right here, one right here, and one right here, somewhere around there. Um, and once you do that, if you want to, if you want to make this adjustable, then those holes you can expand to one side and the other on all three of them, so that when you're aligning your telescope, you can actually move it a little bit to make uh, minimum adjustments. After you drill your holes, you should have something like this, okay? There's three holes there, but there's something else on the other side. Right there where I marked my middle spot, I drilled a little hole because my tripod has a little guide here, okay? So you can go ahead and drill the board a little bit so that you can point into this, and that way you can just rotate as you need in order to achieve your holes. Now this one actually comes out if you want to. It actually comes out. But it's best to keep it there because it's going to help you guide your board onto your tripod. So let's go ahead and try this, okay? Um, just going to center it here. Okay, it's in already. Okay, when you put your bolt, when you do that, uh, make sure you use some sort of a washer so you don't damage your board. There's the first one there. Don't tie it. Don't tie that until you get the second and third already in. Okay, there's the second. And the third one. 
Of course, um, this is not very pretty. The aesthetics of the wedge is not are not going to be like a professional one, but it's going to do the work. It's going to do the job very well for you. Um, one thing that you might want to try is round the edges a little bit. Do some of that. Okay. It's tight. Well, it's not all the way tight. So once you do that, your mount and your telescope should be mounted. Okay, I'm not done yet. Okay, bear with me. Should be mounted something like this in order to achieve your polar, polar alignment should be mounted something like this. So what else do we need? Okay, what we need is another board. Okay, um, I have one here. Right here. This is the next board that we're going to be using and we're going to put this board onto the tripod. Let me move the camera here a little bit so you can see it. Okay, we're going to put this board onto the camera, I mean onto the tripod and we are going to tilt it. Your protractor is going to come handy again to do this part of the job. Okay, uh, you're going to tilt it like this and you're going to put some kind of boards on the sides here. Okay, we're back again. Um, I am done drilling the holes into the plate or the board that's going to hold our mount. And actually I am done putting the hinges. Okay, you can see here there's a couple of hinges. This is already mounted. Now you can notice that uh, I did some rounding on my board as well. Real quick here, uh, in order to do the sideboards that you put onto your um, uh, wedge, you're going to use the same kind of board, the same kind of material. So it's going to be really strong and really, really um, sturdy for your telescope. So the way you do it is basically you're going to cut this board into a 40 angle degree here and then the other one you will do the same as well and then you will use those two boards to put them on the side when you're working on your side panels what's going to be um, here on the side of your of your wedge when you're working on them you can either make a permanent one just leave it permanently here so that it won't move but that's not going to leave you any space to any adjustments so you have to be really precise on what you do now if you want, if you want to do something that is adjustable then I suggest you do something like this okay this here is the same panel but now it has a, a line a hole that's curving from the from the starting point here. Okay, what's that going to do? It's going to allow you to put. It's going to allow you to put a, a screw here and here to hold it, and then loosen up a little bit so you can adjust up and down your tilting. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you is on your wedge itself. Um, it would be very helpful if you put something like this. This is a bubble, a level uh, bubble. You can just add it in there and uh, that way you know exactly when this is level and, and you're not going to be uh, wondering if it's level or not. Uh, another thing that uh, you probably saw over there, over here already is these are the holes that are going into your tripod. Okay, when I do this, when I did this, I did them in a way that I can adjust the rotation of it. 
so I can find my my North Pole exactly like this okay it's not gonna be a lot it's not gonna do a lot of uh, adjustments but it's going to let you do at least I don't know a couple of degrees uh, uh, east and, and, and west it's, uh, as it is this is how your side panel is going to look like once you put it on. See, there's a couple of bolt, uh, screws here. Of course, um, I have not put any uh, washer in here. You might want to put a washer in here so that it doesn't go through the whole uh, uh, thing here. But uh, you can actually adjust to different heights. Like for instance, right here, that's 60 degrees, 50 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degrees, 20, and so on and so forth. So you can adjust to whatever whatever um, latitude you're on and still be be okay with your um, polar alignment this is how your wedge should look like once you're done see how um, you put the bolts on top of it and then you have your bubble okay it's not uh, it's not centered because I am in the garage right now, but uh, that's uh, the bubble over there. And then you have your side screws with the adjustable plate here. See, and then from the back, of course, you're going to be using the different kinds of uh, screws that go in into here, right here, and then right here to put on your your Celestron telescope here on top of this thing. So um, there it is, uh, friends. Um, I hope this is uh, useful for you and your uh, astronomy uh, adventures. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to write down some comments and uh, I will be very happy to um, answer uh, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.